Welcome to Elector Online. As I was preparing this video, I finally came to the realization of something that absolutely blew my mind when I thought about it, and that really defines the concept of time in a very interesting way. So in order to understand that, let's start at the beginning, realizing that time is relative, and it's relative due to how fast the person measuring the time is moving. So let's say that there's a person, make it you, that's in a spacesuit floating in space far away from any moons, any planets, any stars, just floating in space, motionless. An hour will be an hour. So that hour is the hour that we're almost familiar with because that's pretty well what happens on the Earth. Now there's some few little things that change time just a little bit by being on the surface of the Earth, and we'll look at that on the next video. But that's why we put the person in space, in a spacesuit, not moving at all, an hour is an hour. But what if that person went on a spaceship, a pretty fast spaceship, that travels at 86.6% the speed of light, 0.866 times C, where C is the speed of light, which is 300,000 kilometers per second, or 186,000 miles per second. Well, if you're traveling that fast, and you look at your watch, and one hour goes by, so the time that you're experiencing on that spaceship in one hour is two hours for the person over there. In other words, the time that your watch will go through one hour of time, the watch of the person floating in space, during that same amount of time, that watch will show that two hours have passed. This person will have aged one hour, this person during the same period of time will have aged two hours, because time is not the same. In a moving frame like this, where you're moving at 86.6% of the speed of light, time only moves half as fast. And therefore, you experience the same amount of, well, whatever you're experiencing during that one hour, that person will experience during two hours. Well, what if the spaceship increases its speed and now is moving at 99% of the speed of light, 0.99c? Now time will have slowed down to about one-seventh the time for a person floating in space. This person will age one hour, while this person will age seven hours. In the time that this person ages a year, or experiences a year, just like we normally experience a year, this person here would experience seven years. But what if we increase the speed even more? What if we increase the speed to 0.999999c? That's really close to the speed of light, not quite the speed of light. Well, then one hour experienced by this person would be 707 hours experienced by the person in space. For example, let's say that they had a means of communicating, and this person says, I will call you in an hour. Well, one hour later, this person would have experienced 707 hours. Well, 707 hours? How many days is that? 24? My husband promises his wife would call him in an hour. <laughs> that's maybe what it seems like to my wife when I told her I'll call her an hour. Yeah, that's true. So one second would be 12 minutes and one day would be two years. For example, if I say, hey, I'll call you tomorrow at the same time, one day later, well, that will be two years later for this person. That person would indeed get a phone call two years later when it was only one day later for this person. So what if we continue this? What if we can actually speed up to the speed of light? Well, what happens at that moment is that time would eventually, or essentially, stand still. Time will not progress for a person moving at the speed of light. Now, unfortunately, we cannot move at the speed of light. We have a physical limitation. But what if there was an entity that could move at the speed of light? Well, then one hour equals an infinite number of hours. A moment equals an infinite number of moments. At the speed of light, you can travel across the universe a billion times back and forth in less than an instant of time. And then if you even think about it even further, all of history in the past and all of time in the future for the stationary world, for the world that this person lives in, is essentially the world that we live in, all the past and all the future and the present will occur in the same moment in time for a person moving at the speed of light. 
that person will be everywhere in the past and everywhere in the future and everywhere is probably not a good word anytime in the past and anytime in the future and the present all at the same time forever because time simply would not progress so as time is not progressing for this entity time will just continue on at the normal way that we're experiencing here today so that is really an interesting point that all of history and all of the future forever forward all that experience would be less than a moment in time to a person or an entity that can move at the speed of light that really gives you a feeling for the for what time is because if you're not bound to the limitation of speed and if you could indeed travel at the speed of light then you would be everywhere or at any time well let's see you could be everywhere at any time you could travel to any position in the universe and be there and be there when it was a million years ago and be there when it's a million years in the future it would all be the same to you that is the real meaning of time it is relative but it has a tremendous meaning because now we see that it's possible for someone or something that is not bound by the limitations of the speed of light to be everywhere at the same time and at any time in the future and at any time in the past that's a powerful insight into the concept of time does that mean uh, anything that would have happened has already happened? to the person that can move at the speed of light, yes anything in the future is as if it's happened in the past and vice versa there's no difference between past and future it all happens at the same time so what happened to say at the thought experiment that the person was faster than the speed of light ah i haven't gotten to that yet that's something that will require some more thought <laughs> <laughs> but actually that's an interesting question in view of this concept is it possible and what if is it even necessary good thought good interesting all right